Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. You know, on Sunday I had a live stream and it was called Do I Need to Upgrade the Firmware for My Ham Radio? It was a essentially just something that we went through because Lab 599 came out with a firmware upgrade for their TX500 and it actually has CW to code. And my conclusion was, is I'll upgrade the firmware if I find it necessary, but if nothing is wrong with the features I use, I won't upgrade. So we upgraded the firmware on this. And then today I see this post by a guy named Ronin on Facebook. And he says that uh, he heard somebody transmitting a continuous stream of DAWs. And uh, all of a sudden his radio went into some kind of buffer mode and actually started transmitting. So that's a serious bug for the Lab 599TX500. But we need to test it out ourselves to see if it actually is a bug for us as well. And uh, should you even upgrade the firmware for your TX500? I'm using a Yezu FT991, which is going into a dummy load, still transmitting a, a, some sort of RF signal. So I am on 20 meters in the general portion and I'll identify my call sign, but then I'm just going to go to da, 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 as the instructions from Ronan say. Uh, at some point, this buffer overload should occur on the Lab 599. So I have an NFED half wave plugged into here. Now, in fairness, the NFED half wave is probably not going to be completely resonant anywhere as the wires kind of bunched up in the corner. All right, uh, so, uh, uh. okay, so we got that, and now we're just going to go and we're going to do the test thing. Oh, it did go into transmit mode. It went into transmit mode right here. Okay, and as we can see now, there's no way to turn it off uh, except for, uh, like, I'm not keying anymore and it's still on. So my standing wave ratio is one to one. That's great. Um, but this did go into transmit mode, so that is a major bug. Uh, let me see if we turn it off now and we turn it back on if we could replicate that one more time. Let's see here. Again, I'm not great. Okay, cool. So that was again W9FFF, I hope. And uh, we are back on the radio here. Let's try it one more time and see what happens. There it is. It did it again. All right. So that is uh, going to be a major bug. And this is exactly what we were talking about on Sunday, right? Uh, there's firmware upgrades that come out and they haven't been fully tested. Uh, Zygu, for example, is notorious for having buggy firmware and coming out with firmware every week. Don't download the firmware unless you absolutely need it or you're willing to accept the fact that there could be some bugs. I think I said that exactly on the live stream as well. Uh, and with that, there is some major major issues with this firmware i would probably just hold off unless you really want to test it out yourself because this firmware could destroy your radio yes you got full back protection and and you can make all the excuses in the world but the fact of the matter is is if this thing starts to transmit when you're not around uh you might be in for a world to hurt uh well glad to know that we were able to take a look at the firmware and see that it is buggy and confirm that and ronan i hope everything is okay with your radio Hey, I hope this video provided value for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button below. But if not, hey, no problem. Thanks a lot for checking out the channel. I'm Ham Radio Dude 73.